Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Roman City. Sancra Porta. <laughs> I guess that's how I'm going to say it. I don't know if I need to say it at the beginning or not, if it's just Let's Build a Roman City, because that's what I've been doing for the last million episodes. Um, so the villa's coming on, like, really well. Um, I'm actually really proud of this. It's, like, miles better than what I was expecting it to be, so... Uh, I think I've got a nice couple of touches as well with these, like, um... Like the balcony. I really like the balcony. I don't know why. It's just quite nice. I don't even know if it's even useful. I guess it's, I guess the master, you know, the domus, um, could actually come up here and stuff. And just tell them what to do uh, if you wanted to. So that's fine. <laughs> so I guess you can do that. But did I just get stuck in there? That's not good. There we go. So that's fine. So there we go. So we've got all of this stuff. We've got the different berries and stuff. Yes, we've got apples, but they're actually grapes, red grapes, and we got blue grapes. Well, okay, we've got blueberries. Um, there you go. They look like grapes anyway, don't they? They're bluish. Yeah, it's all fine. But, um, yeah, we've got all of those. And, and the green ones as well. So, that's kind of like pretty much done. This little area here, I actually don't need to put too much grass on it, to be honest. Like I usually do. I usually spam the hell out of grass. So I've been quite <laughs> gentle, I guess you could say. Uh, so that's pretty good. We've got, like, lots of dots and things. Uh... I don't know why I put a door there, but um, I did. I think uh, this floor, I'm just going to go with stone. So, I'm just going to go with a nice stone floor. Uh, nice and simple anyway. You know, I don't I don't think we really need too much else down here. Because it is the, the servant's one. You, know, you can see random flowers down there. Uh, so, there we go. Like that. And obviously, there's, those doors are fine. I might actually leave them open, maybe. And then here, I'm going to put in the white. So, you know, so, you get that and you go in. Now that would be quite noisy in there, so maybe we need to have some doors of that one as well. So we could actually do that, couldn't we? So we'll have some doors in there. No, we don't need it on the other side. Uh, just to keep in like noise, but you know they can have a little bit of air coming through. That'll be where we're going to have a furnace on the side as well. So that is um, going to be a nightmare, isn't it? I didn't even think about that. Well, we can just have it going straight up through somewhere. Or on this side. Go into here. Or on the back. I think on the back would work, because that can come up. That can come up through this roof then. We'll do that. <laughs> That's what we'll do when we get around to that. So there we go. Um have the big big fire over here and then we'll have all the preparation rooms. Anyway. What we're we gonna do. Uh, we're gonna try and make this this thing. Now I've only had it in a way described to me. Uh <laughs> the actual kind of like press thing. But it seems to be like, well, it's supposed to be a raised concrete platform. Uh, that's inside. It's an internal one. It's like an inside one. Uh, it's a raised platform. But because of Minecraft, I think I'm going to lower it. So I'll have like something like this. Uh, and it needs to collect into somewhere down here. And then that's supposed to go somewhere. But it's too small. This room is probably too small. Well, I'm kind of aware that it is. So that's fine. So we'll do like this. I'll have it collect into... Right, if we put that down. That's just like that, and then we'll have the pressed bits. This is going to be where it's difficult. So maybe we'll even go down to there. Like that, and we have some stone. Maybe we'll have some actual cobblestone or something down there. Instead. So they go like that. So they go into this bit. Yeah, it's good enough. So then they go into there. And this is the place where it gets pressed and there's basically planks going across which gets crossed down on down on a type of pulley. Uh, it's a special type of pulley so I'm going to just do one of them. I'm going to have to do it down there aren't I? Um, so it's just one of them there. Maybe we can get some water there. If we instead do... Let's grab a... not got next. Something like this. Let's do slash R E P P L P L. Uh, eight colon one, I think is one. Not that one. Maybe it's seven colon one. It's not that. That's not it. Okay, so eight nine then nine colon one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Then we get that one looks the same. So uh, that's a nice that actual trick, really, to make it look like it's all getting gelled in. 
Uh, I might even go for the next one. To four. Yeah, there we go. So that looks like it's then collecting in there, which is quite nice. But it's still down. Uh, block. Now this, um, basically, you'd put in what you'd do. Let's, let's explain it to you guys. And if you guys think that I'm wrong, please correct me uh, as well. <laughs> but basically what they would do is the first press uh, would be this one, which would just be like the natural juice, which is really easy to get out. You just stand on it, just like you do in Modern Day France. Also, I've switched over to Zeus. Um, and then that would be the, the best quality juice that actually comes out. Then what they would do is they would get all of these skins and scoop them up, and if they had a big, big villa, uh, a big estate with lots and lots of slaves, they would have rooms where they would put in those skins, and then they'd have these boards. And on these boards, they would have basically like a pulley system, which I have no idea how I'm going to do, but they'd have a pulley system. Um, yep. So that would be a touch of that. I have a pulley system, which then they are able to basically use to lower really, really heavy wood basically onto it, uh, and that would actually compress it, and it would push out even more juice. So the ones that was described, that was by Kato, um, like really, really old stuff like Carthage Wars um, type era, <laughs> uh, they would basically have these like this, and Kato wrote about how it was like done this way, and how this was then like pressed down by a pulley system. I think what might have actually happened, or well, what I've got in my head, would be that they would have it on both sides and then pull it underneath, but and squeeze it, but I don't know. Maybe it's just really heavy wood. I don't know. And then they'd actually move it. But that's basically what's what we're doing. If that makes any sense at all. Which maybe it doesn't. So it doesn't matter if it doesn't. There we go. So we're going to have that one. Now this is going to be difficult. Because I want to have the chain. But I don't want to change the roof. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down brick. There has to be one. See that one? Oh, not on. We're on does have it, but it has the other type of stuff. Yeah, let's see, that's red. There will be one. There we go, that's the one. So there we go, we got one there. So that one's fine. So there we go, so we've got this here. So we're going to have that just on one side. Now I don't know how they're actually going to be pulling this. This is how small it is. Or not pulling on it, but um, pushing on it. Or pulling it up, and they need to pull it up. Uh, <laughs> See, this room is too small, really, but I'm going to make it work, oh, damn it! I will make it work. Well, at least something, you know, at least, you know, it, it's something that's been described, so it's kind of difficult for me to even figure it out in my head. That's a shame that it does that. Maybe we're going to go for something else then. Across here, we'll go for fence gates, just like that. Let's be attached in. That's in there. Uh, and that would then squeeze it even more. Um, and they'd do that three or four times. And the last one was the poorest quality wine, which was um, basically what the slaves and really, really poor people had. So not nice stuff. But that would be that little room in here. And I'm just going to have a tiny torch just in there. And maybe a bottle that they can try and scoop up the crap into. So that would be the poorest. Oh, no. No, no, no. We can't have that. Right, okay. Switch, switch. Oh, darn it. Okay. Oh, that was broken. What, what are we on? That's desert. Oh, okay. That's why. Well, we can have it as planes, can't we? There we go. Planes. That's why. And actually, that probably is better position wise. So, yeah, they'd have that. They'd be, able to, they'd be able to lower that somehow. I know you can't on this one. I get that. Unless it's like a pulley system here, and you can actually do it on there. Yeah, okay. Let's try this. So I'm going to have a rope this time. And they can pull the rope. And they can pull the rope down. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So they'd like sitting here, and they'd, they'd pull that to lift it up. With all their weight, and then they put them on there, and then they squeeze it or something. I don't <laughs> let's just let's just go with that. Um, but if if you guys know the exact things that you actually do with it, please do say. <laughs> don't let me suffer in silence. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to need. Oh, I was going to need that. We're going to have um, this is a little area where they actually bury or half bury them. 
Uh, so they used to do this, which is quite cool. So there's lots of sand there. Let's switch this over to planes, because planes is fine. And we're just going to switch all this down to that as well. There we go. So it's like half buried in the ground. Maybe we'll have like a couple over here. Uh, now this is going to be a little bit difficult. Because we're going to need a barrel. But I think maybe... I don't think they actually work properly with... Oh, let's just get rid of these. They don't really work... What the hell? Right. <laughs> Did they work with this or does it change? It doesn't change. Okay, that's fine. So it just changes... Uh, Trapdoors. So I need to keep that in mind. I'm going to have a couple of these just on the ground. So some of them are like buried or half buried in the ground, which I think is really cool. Uh, that's not right. We want. Yeah, I'll have to check the top of this then. There you go. Deep ocean. So I'm going to have a couple of those just, just buried. Um, so what they would do is they would have it just in like a cool place for about two weeks to a month uh, is what they actually did usually. And that has not affected the roof. Yay! So yeah, two weeks to a month, they would actually have these in this nice, nice, nice little cool place. Now what is going on there? Oh, let me place something there. Why not? There you go. That's weird. Yeah, and then they would actually pull them out of the ground uh, after that. So that's pretty good. I'm actually tempted to instead use... There we go, that one. And the red one. So we've actually used it somewhere in a build. Because <laughs> I've never used it yet. There we go. That, that looks alright, doesn't it? So maybe that's like the unpainted version of this. There we go. Just to use it. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, right, so then, yeah, they put those in the ground for a little bit. And then they'll actually take them out and put them into a smaller, a smaller area where you've got loads and loads of these, like, jars. Um... Uh, with a hole in it so the carbon dioxide can escape. So where are we going to have that? Maybe this will be the actual storage of it. Uh, so I'll have that in here. I'm just going to throw up a couple of lights. That's really bad lights. Right. Let's, let's get rid of those. First let's do these. Actually I'm not even going to do it that way. Let's do this properly. that and there. So this will be the, the next area. So all of this part is like the work area then, which kind of makes sense though. When you have guests over, you wouldn't want them to come. You wouldn't want them to come through here anyway. Uh, through your gardens and ruin your gardens, would you? So at least this is, you know, tiles and it's all along the like slave corridor, which would be this bit. Then get into there to, yeah, so even more crushing of them. And have that go into this one. Now, if we're having that as just normal ground, uh, we could have, you know, stone again. But I think, let's try this, and let's also grab that, and also grab, get rid of all those, oak slab, yep, stairs. Right, shove that up there for the time being, or shove them there. Just put in some more cobblestone. There you go, like that. Now what we're going to do is the roof, we are going to have... Uh, here, an ore beam maybe, and then could just rough around, couldn't we? Or we could do like proper uh, these. Yeah, I'll do those actually. I'm just going to do those all the way and ignore this central one because that's going to be a little bit better. There we go. Wow, well, at least gives us some, some nice boards at the top. Right, so then here is where we're going to have the big big jars, but obviously we don't really have big jars, so we're going to have to go with these. And what we're actually going to do, like I've got different names of them, and I'll explain them as I go along, because then you guys can learn something. <laughs> so how about that? Uh, well, first we're going to need some, like, stuff. Maybe we're going to have a little desk in here. Maybe they, well, actually, no. Slaves wouldn't be able to write, really, would they, unless they're really educated. Which they wouldn't be, but uh, we'll have a small table here. Maybe they label them. Have different labels on this desk here. That's an idea. There we go. And that means why I can put on a light here. That's basically what I'm trying to figure out. 
Let's have a light there. It's got like a book there, for example. And I'm just going to shove up one light there. But we're then going to have a couple names of things. So first, I'm going to put them on... Uh, these would just be stored... Well, they would normally be vertical, basically. Vertical uh, pots uh, that, or jars that they can be tipped uh, in. They were usually really big jars. Really, really big jars. I think there might be... There we go. So there's like a picture of kind of the type, I guess. Um, but, you know, we can't really make those in Minecraft. We're We're stuck. <laughs> So we're stuck with uh, what we got, which is crates. Well, that, even in Conquest, actually, that's still pretty good. So, still having crates, so there we go. Gonna have these, though, like on top, because that looks good. Separate those out, and I'll have those right now. I'm just gonna go plonk these down. And then we're gonna use the deep ocean ones so that it's, you know, up on the top like that. And we're gonna do the same on top as well, so we've got like two layers. Then we can name down here and we can put uh, tripwire hooks on them. That's what I'm going to go with this time. There we go, like that. And they're not what I'm going to have on this side. Maybe some of the like, wines in bottles. Uh, but they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't actually have them in bottles. So this is going to be difficult, isn't it? But um, I think I'm still going to have some in bottles. Because maybe they're fancy. And they did, they did know how to do glass and stuff. So, there is that. At least it's not super incorrect. There we go. Actually, that one there can be a... Uh, nope, there's none around. It could be an actual bowl. There's on the desert biome. <laughs> there we go, so... Yeah, it'll be ketchup. Um, right. So, I'm going to go through the names. So, we've got a couple of them. Um, let's have a look. Numerous types of Roman wines, so... Roman's category, Roman colour, and age. But what we're going to have is... Let's have a look. <laughs> so I'm having a look at them at the minute. Uh, one of the ones that was actually pretty common was... Malsum. And let's put in that one. So this is like... Oh. I don't want to do that, I want to put that on. So this is Malsum. Mole. Some. And that's basically wine combined with honey, either during or after fermentation. So, um, honeyed wine. So, I'm going to write on them so that I, I actually learn something as well. So, then it's actually got history, like learning with Decker. How cool is that? Not really. So, I've got some of that. Uh, the other one we've got is there's a raisin wine. That's interesting. Um, most famous Roman wine is a white, white wine that's been aged. So, this is actually called Phalanum. Phalanum. <laughs> um, aged white wine. There you go. That's lucky that it fits in. So that's the most famous one. Uh, we also have Calanum, which is similar, but has a lighter taste to that one, so we won't have that one, actually. Uh, Albanum. Al Albanum. Uh, there are two types, dry and sweet. And I needed 15 years. Wow. So this will be a really old one. Oh, Venom. Um, that's be yes. a 15 years sweet wine. There we go. Momentum. <laughs> Needed at least five years to be drinkable. Yeah, we'll put that one down. Brilliant. I can't believe that word. Wow. Moment. <laughs> and um. Wow. It doesn't seem right. Um, so what is that? Five years. Years. Okay. And last, we're going to have... Well, we've got Conditum, which is an ancient Greek custom uh, which was mixed with wine with pepper, honey, and seawater. What? <laughs> Who the hell would drink that? And Laura. Which was made from the leftovers of great production, yeah. Um, so we're going to have that one instead. We'll have Laura, which is sl slave wine. <laughs> we're going to go with that. That's fine. There we go. So we go. We've got a couple of different types then. So that's like the the store, or where that. Well, not really the store, but some of them. For example, this one that these 15 years is going to be sat there for a long bloody time. But maybe the head slave 
Uh, and I did. They did actually have head slaves. And sometimes they were like quite educated as well. So maybe we've got uh, an educated head slave who actually comes in here and notes down like when they go in. So it'll be like barrel number, blah 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 blah. And when they should actually come out. So that's that could that could work. So we go get that and Maybe they're going to have some shelves. I don't want to... The problem is with the... Um, bloody biomes. It's a pain in the ass, isn't it? But it's not too bad. The monster's done as much as he can with it. So... There you go. So maybe... Maybe that one's changed. Oh, there we go. There's one there. Frozen River. So we'll do that one. Have that up there as like a nice little shelf. And up here he will have... His notes. Maybe we have that going up even more or not. Yeah. I'm going up one more. That looks quite good. So yeah, so you'll sit in here, he'll note down the time and what stock as well. Um So maybe like this is under lock and key possibly. It's always a bit more interesting, doesn't it? Right, okay, so that's not that other one. Throw that there for the time being. There we go, so he's got that noted down. And we're just gonna have a nice little simple Add some torch. That's going to be quite dark in here. Oh, there go. So it's, it is really dark in here. Jesus. All right, that's what it's like. It's cold. It's got to be cold actually, and that makes it feel cold at least. So then, yeah, this guy, this guy notes it down. Um, he's also got up here. Nice little play ahead. I don't know what time we're on, but I think they're probably running over, as uh, constantly are really, aren't we? But <laughs> that's fine. So there we go. That's another room done. Now, if I can find out the Latin names for each of these, I will, and I'll put them on the doors, because that'd be quite good as well, wouldn't it, to learn? But that makes sense now. Well, now we've got grapes come in, um, they get pushed, they get you know, sealed, and then they can. That's the expensive wine, and then if it's not the expensive wine, then you get pressed even further, and then we have the actual room where they're kind of like in dirt, uh, which is a bit weird. And then we've got the final room where they're being stored in jars, and some of them are actually maturing. And some of them can then get sold. So that's quite cool, I think. Uh, this one, obviously, they don't have that much wine. So maybe maybe I need another part of the structure. I love that wall, though. That's so freaking overgrown. It's pretty great. But maybe we need another room somewhere uh, that has like a similar one to this. So but they're all labelled. So we'll have a look to see. Maybe maybe this can be another storage room, possibly. So we're not going to use it for anything else. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that uh, as well. And we can just quickly go through those. And I think, yeah, we will do that. We'll put in a couple more names um, to put into there. Or we can have that as a storage cupboard. Or am I going to have... I think I'm going to have this one as a storage cupboard. So I'll have, like, the furnace uh, somewhere around here. I can go up that way anyway. So I'll have that there. And then we'll have this uh, storage room. And there we go. Let's fill this in. Storage room here. And then the other one we'll have uh, as a different room. So we won't have this door here. This one will literally just be only accessible from this side. So there we go. Get the open kitchen. And yeah, another little storage room. So we'll do this next time. So we'll get onto that. Um, and that should be pretty quick just to finish off that bit. Um, and then we can get onto something else. I don't know what else we'll do. Maybe the atrium? You know, we've done like a little bit of the purpose of this. Uh, it's not really a plot, but it feels like one because of the projectness of it. Of this like singular place, it feels like I'm doing a little plot, like right here, <laughs> uh, which in a way I am. You know, it's a it's a nice little separate thing. Weirdly, those have grown on me. Those weird tiles, uh, they actually look good now. So anyway, thanks very much for watching, guys. A uh, bit of a weird one, doing doing like purpose type stuff, and doing winery stuff. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed uh, like this. I've I've enjoyed it. I've never done any of that stuff before. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.